um, um, joint pistols. So. Well, I think I mean the exact the, the the end result has been totally unexpected. Un, mm -hmm. unexpected. And I, I kind of, as you know, before we kind of came, we, we set up we had that initial pre-meeting, and I had these sort of preconceptions of having of building something immediately, mm -hmm. and kind of using things I was already familiar with, and maybe just getting some some number crunching figures from Matthew helping me make another sort of algorithm in some big shape, mm -hmm. and then being turning the room into an X Y Z graph and. But actually what this week has been about is really actually getting to the, just challenging all pre these preconceptions and these sort of things of what is true. And I um, I don't know, it's, just, it's been really nice to, to actually feel on the back foot with something like this and being a little bit out of my depth in terms of the maths and the, and the logics behind it, processing it in my own way. And then, because I actually think that this, this system that I've got, because it fails so sort of dramatically, it sort of, it's got so unwieldy and so kind of, complicated and also it's quite humorous but it's I think in that it's quite it's actually a very useful model in that in a lot of actually that it really highlights some of the the things about numbers that are so in, kind of forgotten in that sort of that they're just so sort of familiar with us you just can't see the wood from the trees and that sort of these these systems that are these ubiquitous systems that underpin everything that we rely on are just they're just so they're just they're just so intrinsically part of us that you can't really sense them anymore. And I think that something like this is quite. It's hopefully hopefully has a little bit to sort the of push is is highlighting that to some degree. So and it's allowed me to articulate some of the the um, these sort of things that I've been preoccupied with but haven't been able to at the time or the ways to sort of really tap into them. So being here and having this springboard and this. This, this this luxury of this time just debating and thrashing things out has actually unearthed those things and brought it more into a consciousness. Mm -hmm. So this tug of war again could be described in terms of um, Matthew's quest to create successful visualisations and successful metaphors that would get his ideas across and your role was kind of to inject this bit of failure which is the spark that makes what you do in a work of art rather than simply a model mm. is to inject this kind of frailty um, mm. which is really um, which belongs to the kind of cultural associations and the different types of mechanisms which operate in culture which aren't mathematical and so we're going to have um, a bit of uh, a question and answer session and uh, more of a discussion and we brought out the uh, I don't know what to call it, quite the same model, the same. We have a part of it. Where's the peanut? The peanut, where is the peanut? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> then you can pass the peanut through the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> you may never reach the front. <laughs> there should be music. There should be music and, and there should be a, a ray. Yeah. Oh, we need Jean Michel Jarre as well. Just be careful, the wires don't um, get <coughs> compromised. <laughs> Just have to make sure there's enough. <laughs> it might not work because this needs to be able to. I think I should just try to reinforce and point out that um, the idea isn't that this is the end result of the whole process. <laughs> There's one among several uh, exhibits. Um, but this, but I guess this, this was the sort of, I mean, this is a realised version of the theory that Matthew was, that we, that we sort of came up with through, through various sort of, kind of coincidental or just from being in the room together with each other for just this period. And just, this was the sort of thing that became 
and it's sort of such a hybrid of sort of, sort of elements of whether it's the feedback system or the yeah. idea of co and how we arrive at this is very difficult to trace its real evolution historically because it's I mean, it's quite fascinating to, to see this as the outcome. Yeah. I mean, it's it's um, but this really is is is, a, is as much as possible apart from the rabbit is essentially the as true as possible as Matthew and Paul could could ma make uh, a, a, a demonstration of your of this of this multiplication and addition. Mm. Now again, I think the the physical constraints um, acted to introduce these twists to the, the, the idea. Yeah, I'll talk a bit more about that. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, sure, well, we'll just demonstrate what it does basically. It doesn't just um, show five rabbits. And can you just fill the light underneath so we can see a bit more? I don't will you will you will that work? Yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah, you might need some extra light on the rabbit. Have you got a torch or something? Oh, no, that looks really good. You can see the rabbit. That's fine. Okay, so we have, we have this, this um, wheeled complex, which represents three. <laughs> it does sound really good. Yeah. This, um, at the moment, this wheeled complex is, 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 it has a camera based on it, which is pointing at an a, uh, image of a rabbit. And this is a fixed complex, which similarly has a camera light pointing at the rabbit. Mm. But if we just happen to wheel this over here, this mm -hmm. camera is now pointing at two rabbits, and we see six rabbits. So in this position, we have addition represented, where these numbers, two and three, are playing the same role. They're both just replicating something. They're counting rabbits. In this position, two and three are playing different roles. The two is counting rabbits and the three is counting twos. In fact, you can even see the, the edges of the screens. And you can even see Conrad's head, actually. Um, <laughs> it's it's framing. Conrad, that's too too many. Yeah, it's confusing. How confusing the mathematics are. So, the fact that. The artist's rearing his head. Yeah. And similarly, you could imagine if, 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 we set this, if we built this more elaborate version, you could uh, slide the two in front of the three. And you could demonstrate that two threes give you the same result as three twos, but these two cameras would then show three screens each with a rabbit on. So the, uh, the, the, this idea of applying number to itself rather than to something you're counting. Now, originally, the, um, and also the important point is you can change, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a rabbit or a ball or a peanut. Um, mathematics is the same. Now, we were originally going to do this where the cameras would be pointing directly at the thing. And Robin made a point, shouldn't we have one in here somewhere? Um, so this introduction of the camera, a single screen of camera, some of you may be sitting at the front, you can't see clearly, but there's, rather than the two cameras pointing at the, the hawk, they're pointing at a picture of a hawk on a screen. So this complex here illustrates another layer of, of um, philosophical subtlety to this so you've distinction. Got, you've got your camera like that, so it's, instead of it, it's a representation, it's a sort of symbol yeah. of that. Yeah, so the so, whole is where so I that, introduced this that, idea That's just, this one it's called one, it's one or in, one our, in, our, in our term it's solicit. Solic it always it has to be uh, brought into the number system so that it can be processed by the other, by yeah. the other operators. And this, this, <laughs> nice, this nicely illustrates something, that I've, a point I've been trying to make for years to people, which isn't particularly relevant to mathematics, but it's relevant to the way we we apply numbers to the world, which is that there really are no two of anything. Um, you know, we're, we're, the world is full of either um, biologically generated forms, which seem a, a similar to oak trees, to human beings, to rabbits, um, or it's full of mass-produced objects, to cigarette lighters or to skyscrapers. Um, and we look at them and we see a similarity between this thing and that thing, and we say, oh, there's another one, and there's, therefore there are two. Um, but in fact, if you look at them closely enough, each one has its own features, each one has its own history, and the two-ness isn't there in the world, it's in our choosing to relate them. So the fact that there are no two of anything means you can't really have two rabbits but if, or hawks, but if you, if you introduce this element, the hawk has been reduced to a sort of flattened image of a hawk. It's been brought into the number system, so it's been reduced from its physical actuality with its own distinct characteristics. This is, this is what this is trying to say, I suppose, to a mere token, something that you can then count. So you can count with hawks, you can count with pebbles, or with any other tokens. <coughs>